Hi, my name's Seth. I'm a first year medicine student at the University of Sunderland. So last week I completed my first month at medical school. Now I've made this video to give you an insight on what to expect in your first month at medical school. After Freshers' Week, my first week at medical school was an orientation week. And in this week we had several sessions such as ethics, law, professionalism and what makes a good doctor. We were also introduced to PBL and did a practice case. And it was also really nice to get to know the group that we would be working with for the rest of the year. We also looked at anatomy and anatomical terms. And I haven't previously done anatomy before in my previous degree and I don't think people have done it at A-level from what I remember. And in this session we essentially looked at anatomical terms such as superior and inferior and also anterior posterior. We also looked at movement terms such as flexion and extension. And after that we also looked at the anatomy of the thoracic cavity. We looked at key structures such as true felts and floating ribs as well as the sternum, the vertebrae and also the intercostal muscles. We were also introduced to histology and in this first session we looked at microscopy and staining techniques. And on top of that we also had a lecture on cell structure which was basically just a continuation from A levels. Another session that we had in our first week was a numeracy session and this was just looking at drug calculations and dilutions. And I guess the purpose of this first session was to make sure everyone's familiar with units and conversions. So in the week after our orientation week, which is actually our third week, we started a new module called Health and Disease. In that week we did clinical skills and in that session we were learning about how to talk to patients professionally. We also did our first PBL case and this consisted of a chair, a scribe and essentially just the rest of the group to describe ILOs, which are intended learning outcomes, which we would then present the following week. And in that week, we also looked at the anatomy of the breast maxilla, so looking at lymphatic drainage and how can cancer spread. And in that week, we also looked at cell signaling, so, so receptor tyrosine kinases, G protein coupled receptors, and also, and also ion channel receptors. This lecture was quite information heavy, and a lot of people struggled with it, going from the esophagus, stomach, and intestines. Another session that we had was on hematopoiesis, so looking at different types of blood cells and blood cancers. The final lectures that we had in that week were public health and also on DNA, RNA and protein In our third week, which is our second week of health and disease, we had another session on clinical skills and this was talking to PCPIs, which, which are essentially simulated patients. After that, we then had a wrap-up session on our PBL case from the week before and presented our ILOs to the group. So in that week, we looked at the anatomy of the abdominal wall and this included structures such as the rectus abdominis, the internal and external oblique muscles and also additional structures and neurovascular supply. I was also quite interested to do basic life support skills, so we worked with the paramedics and looked at doing CPR. Clear of patient. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button. And in that week, we had another lecture on public health, and we also had a lecture on electrochemical gradients, which I guess is just concerned about eye movements across the membrane. Later on in the week, we then had a lecture on cell proliferation, and we particularly looked at cancer cells and how the loss of a tumor suppressor gene or the gain of an oncogene can sort of promote rapid proliferative signaling. We then ended that week on looking at quantitative pharmacology, which was pretty interesting when we got to look at half lives of drugs. In our final week of this month and our last week of this particular unit, we wrapped up on last week's PBL session and we were introduced to this week's PBL session. And in this week we looked at the anatomy of the forward, which was pretty interesting. And I think as we get further on in the course, we were looking at the mid-gut and the hind-gut. We also had more clinical skills and this time we were speaking to the PC PICs and doing a mock consultation. And I really enjoyed having this early exposure to clinical skills. It was also quite interesting to go to the simulation suite where we looked at clinical skills again. And this time it was based on a severe car crash. And this time we had to assess and monitor the fictional characters. We also had more lectures on cancer cell biology. And this time looking at stuff such as ERC signaling. We also looked at the histology of the skin and had another lecture on mental health. We ended the week on a lecture on public health and the fluid compartments. And with fluid compartments we essentially just looked at osmolarity and osmolality. I hope you enjoyed this insight of my first month at medical school. And I'll see you in the next video.